welcome, welcome, welcome. And what you are seeing here is something I don't like to mess with a lot because it's so frustrating and annoying. But this is the Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. And I have been working on a number of scripts for, well, technically the title's a bit of a lie since it's for Fallout New Vegas. But it's for Tale of Two Wastelands and specifically the Capital Wasteland because I can't get Fallout 3 to actually launch without Tale of Two Wastelands. So what I'm doing here, and I'll show it in game in a moment, is I am building out the scripts for basically adding the faction system from New Vegas to the Fallout 3 armors, essentially. So it's relatively simple. I've got all of the uh, outfit warnings and scripts already set up. I just have to add a little bit of code here. And that's what we're doing right now. Show message. 101. Security faction outfit warning. And then on unequipped player. So that takes care of the Vault 101 security armor and its prompt its message. So we want to see what else. Uh, and friendly script. So we're going to say A and T. No, let's just try And let's try outfit. There it is. Ant faction outfit warning. That's what I want. So Ant faction outfit warning. We've got the ant armor set up. Uh, da, 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 da. Just remember the Brotherhood of Steel, right? Caesar's Legion, Brotherhood, Chinese Ghoul faction. So let's see. Friendly. Ant faction, Chinese Ghoul friendly script. E H I N E S E. Cool. Faction outfit warning. That's what we want. C H I N E S E. Ghoul, faction outfit, off, save the script, go back to what we were doing before, friendly, so we've got enclave friendly, that's going to be the next one, and let's just go through them, shall we, because we can have multiples of these things open. Paradise Falls. Uh, I already did Raider. Yeah, Raider one's already done. Regulator. Rivet City. Robot. T Talon. Tenpenny. Maybe we want to do T N P E Penny. No, 
my ten penny guard. There it is, ten penny guard faction armor, armor. Oh. All right, so this is gonna be P and P penny guard faction outfit warning. that the next one we're looking for is Talon Talon faction outfit warning excellent Talon Faction, shoot. Talon, faction, outfit warning. Off. This is a very basic system, so it's not checking if you normally would have alliances with these things. It's just setting it either on or off, but you know, Modding takes time, and you have to get the basic framework done before you start putting in exceptions. So we got the talent outfit warning done. Close that. Go with robot. Faction outfit warning, yep. Robot faction outfit warning. Off. That should work for that. Save, close, rivet, city. we go. R-I-V E-T City Guard Faction And then the off message Save G-U-L-A-T-O-R. There we go. Regulator. Regulator. Faction outfit warning. Off. Save. Close. Paradise fall. P A R A D I S E. Falls. S L A. Yep, yeah, there we go. P A R A D I S E. Falls. Slavers. Faction outfit warning. How many more of these do I actually have? I think it's just the last two. All right. Slave. Action. Yep. On.
Enclave. Faction outfit warning, yep. Now, this all seems easy at first, I'm assuming you know what you're doing. Here's where the annoying parts are going to start to kick in. Because once you do all this, then you have to compile all the scripts. And unfortunately, the GAC doesn't like doing that. And while it will compile the scripts properly, it's going to throw a ton of errors and eventually crash. Even though it will compile them. It just doesn't end gracefully. Which is why I hate working in the GAC. Because the GAC just hates to work gracefully, even when you've got a mod installed that makes the GAC work better. All right. Outcast, faction, outfit, armor, so on and so forth. Faction, outfit, warning. Off. Save. Close all dialog boxes before saving. All right. Pop open the script. We want the uh, ah. cast friendly script. All right. Everything's been saved. Do you want to recompile the scripts? Not really. If you look down here, you'll see how far we are in going through all the scripts, so we have to com recompile. We're a fifth of the way through the scripts at this point. Two-fifths of the way through, actually more about is it halfway. Now we're about halfway. I would love it if I just clicked the save button on that particular script. That would also compile it, but from what I understand, the GEC does not do that. The only way to actually compile the script exactly to recompile all. You can't just click the save button and be done with it. <sighs> we get to deal with all of this BS. Alright, now it's pretty much done. Now it's basically going to lag, freeze, surge up on this last script. Which is really annoying. But it's technically done. Close the Garden of Eden creation crit. Thank you. Go over to Vortex while the creation 
while the GEC is crashing. Let's see. Megaton. Because <sighs> I know this is also a bug I had. Yep, compile of scripts have been clicked. Mm, even they have to do it. Tab store locking script. All right. Well, let's try it without the player house door locking script. I'm not sure if I need that one. Enable all. Mega. Yeah, that's fine. Now, when, when I pop into the game, what you guys are going to notice is a very unusual location for me to be just randomly saved and casually walking about in. So pay attention. Yeah, megaton. So it should actually show up uh, here. Megaton. Why is it? Megaton. Meg megaton. M E G A T O N. E G A T O N. Up oh, there they are. Mm -hmm. All right. Disable auto sort, enable that. Launch, quote unquote, New Vegas. There's already an instance of Fallout New Vegas running. I guess if you're taking a moment to launch then. I miss I did something, didn't I? All right, let's see here. 
Fallout New Vegas not running. Yes, please kill Fallout New Vegas. Three instances of Discord running. Well, that killed Discord on my side me side view. Up, <laughs> uh, New Vegas is still actually running. Make sure there are no other instances of Fallout New Vegas running. Good. I can relaunch Discard. And I should also be able to now relaunch New Vegas. I really hate unoptimized software. Why do you have three copies of Discord to, launch, to run your one app Discord? Not very efficient. There we go. Come on. Come on. Hurry up, New Vegas. Yeah, I'm working on it. So first off, I'm gonna go and hide over here. Because when I take this armor off to kind of, kind of test all this stuff, you no longer dress as a raider. Yeah, I know that. now dressed as Vault 101 security guard, which means obviously we're in Vault 101. When I had this mod set up, then, you know. I wouldn't get attacked in the vault. But we're in Raider territory. What's happening? suspicious at all. I'm just grabbing some weaponry. My game does that sometimes. Yes, I'm just a raider with a pit boy. What? That's not strange at all.
problem with that. Hammers? No. Hurting. Warring? Okay. Disengage the lock. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Possibly have an issue with me. We're back. Somebody open up the. Hang on. Something ain't right here. Weapon parts. Employee ID, yes. W A R E S Cages Faces. Run maintenance routine. Now since I'm technically part of the Raider faction, what's gonna happen here? Loading personality. Rob Go. R04 B9 Office Helper Running Default Office Protocol Error Loading Daily Agenda Error Security Breach Detected Please Stand Back Greetings Fellow Office Employee Please Present Your Valid ID 
Scanning for office ID. ID accepted. Ooh. Have a nice day. In that case, I'm gonna keep on looting and let him take care of some uh, raiders. If he wants to. Doesn't Good really easy. matter. Because I can loot the bodies. Or I can just walk out. And nobody will be any of the wiser. I think he's going around killing raiders. Why else would I get a little bit of XP? Nothing seems to be happening at the moment. Hey. So far, so good. Yo! So good. Was new. They're being pretty nice to me. I think I have them fooled. You heard anything? What weapons do I have to work? Check with the nine millimeter.
don't need to loot everything. Wasn't very impressive. Seems to be everything here that needs to be looted. Let's see what happens. Did they seriously have no reaction to me slaughtering one of them? Yeah, Raider will be Raider. Far so good though. The raiders ain't trying to kill me. Do I have anything that counts as a sniper rifle?
those two raiders that I shot. There's one of them. Homemade crossbow. Raider leader. Leisure under. Leisure. Yeah. You know what it said. Now the question is, and I'm probably gonna regret this, which is why I'm saving beforehand. Does the raider? Uh, assault suit, perk stroller. Let's quickly do a repair on that. Raider leisure wear. Oh boy. That I'm gonna have to look into. To make sure that properly is counted as raider gear. So far, it does look like the Raiders have no idea, or rather they don't care, that I shot one of their own because they think I'm one of their own, and eh. Raiders shooting Raiders, me. I may have to make the faction system be a bit more robust. Maybe look at how actually New Vegas does it itself, specifically, in their uh, outfit scripts. Like, look at uh, probably Caesar's Legion, Powder Gangers. I'm not sure who I would look at and apply that same sort of logic. So I put a very basic logic, as you could see, in the scripts that I designed to basically just do, you know, if you're wearing this gear, you're added to that faction and they won't attack you. But clearly, if I'm shooting raiders in the face, then, you know, they, they might probably take offense to that, you know. It's one thing to just shoot wastelanders, it's another thing to shoot your own gang. Where is the other one I shot, though? Somewhere over here, I think. The really amusing thing is, technically, I could do the same thing with super mutants. I just have to figure out how would you convince a super mutant that you're on their side? Because let's be honest. For one, you can't wear super mutant gear. And for the second, do you really think a super mutant is going to look at a puny human? And not want to eat their face. Only humans. You made us now suffer for your arrogance. they're even on any more edge than normal. And you would think one of their own guys just gacking their gang 
would be cause for alarm. Honestly, I could see some doing some really interesting stuff with this. Like, if you sneak attack a raider and you do enough chaos, they can start turning on each other. Shh, hold up. Wait, who shot? Who shot Timmy? I knew I couldn't trust any of you raiders. Now you just stand back and enjoy the chaos. As the raiders start shooting each other, maybe a couple will be like, No, it's gotta be the new guy! I knew I couldn't trust the new guy! Alright. Time to try the ultimate challenge. I'm just gonna go walk right up to one of these raiders. Shoot him in the back of the neck. Back of the shoulder, whatever. Any reaction? No? So I'm literally standing here. Literally shooting raiders pretty blatantly. All right, in that case then, let's get over to something a bit more up close and personal so I'm not wasting ammo. Let's see. The police baton. looking at me like that. Are you in the mood for a busted mouth or something? I don't know. Are you in the mood for a busted mouth or something? Oh. What? You looked at me funny. like it. I think I've known on this side. Say, where is it? Didn't I get a couple of box cutters? I think I did, yeah. I'm gonna cut ya. I'm gonna cut ya, Raiders.
think, actually, that's everybody? I think I ganked all Doradas. Why am I suddenly slow? What happened? 277 or 275? What caused that? Ah, uh, da 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 da. Not seeing anything that indicates why I'd slow down. Ah, well, easy enough to fix. I want to kick up my repair as much as I can. Definitely educated. And apparently I can level up again. Get my repair nice and high. Double the bonuses from breeding, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with comprehension. Get more bonuses from skill magazines. And that should put me, I'm still at 275, all right, good. But I should actually be able to do some pretty good, I still can't repair anything better than what I have now, even though I threw all my points into repair. All right. Well, you know what I should actually be doing? Looking over at my apparel and see if I can fix that up any. Uh, the Brahmin skin? Not really. Because that gives me, what, agility and endurance. Definitely can repair that. That though could be useful, the survival bonus. No longer dresses a rain. Yeah, it doesn't count, does it? I have to definitely look and making sure I've covered all these items. Yes, I don't think I can upgrade any of these. These are the same, the doctor and surgeon. They're literally identical. Let's go with the surgeon's fatigues. Now the tortoise shell glasses I can repair with. Sure. Now you may be wondering why I am wearing glasses instead of something more useful. And that's because I have the four eyes trait. And that means Oh, okay, tick coin. I'm going to tinker with because it's got an invisible arm. But that also means that when I take them off, 
Yeah. This is what the four ice trait does with some with certain mods I have installed. <laughs> Imagine playing the game like this. It's kind of forces role playing. You don't just take the four ice trait for the bonuses to, you know, reading to, to bonuses to perception. You take it because without it, <laughs> this is what you get. And you can see if I put on the tinted reading glasses, that works. But it does tint the world. It does make everything darker. The tortoise shell doesn't make the world darker. Uh, sunglasses also count. I think. I may have to tinker with that. I may have to look at it. Because it, it looks like it's doing the blurring effect. But it's not doing the darkening effect. So you can tell with the tinted reading glasses, everything's darker. But the sunglasses should actually make things darker. They don't look like they're having the sunglasses effect, so I'll have to tinker with that. Make sure that's working properly. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. And of course, there's just the regular eyeglasses, which I crafted away. But, yeah. The main reason I'm going with the tortoise shell instead so of the tinted, well, the obvious reason not going with the tinted glasses is that. But for the tortoise shell. I feel it looks a little bit more raidery than just regular glasses. I want to make sure I actually did properly finish the quest. Let's look at the quest. Yeah, return to Moyer. I did the optional everything. Was new. Look at that armor. All right, I want to go actually over to my items, my weapons. Nine. 24, really, for the knife. Okay. That's a lot of pain spike armor she's carrying. Jeez, I'm crow. Serious lady, how many suits of pain spike armor do you need? Like seriously, how many suits of pain spike do you need? Looking at me like that. Are Got you it. in the mood for a busted mouth or something? Yes. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat. Don't look at me like that either, freak. What? You looked at me funny. You look at me funny. Now, anyway, in that case, I can't maintain this one, but I should actually be able to repair my 10 millimeter with all of these low quality ones that I'm finding. Anything else I can repair here? Nope. Now, the paint spike armor. I think the reinforced one is the best one to go with. It's medium armor, DT of 5 versus the lightweight one, 
PT of three. Yeah, definitely go with the reinforced one. And we're gonna re we're gonna fix it with pain spike, pain spike, pain spike, pain spike, pain spike. And no. Pair that with. I have to get my repair a lot higher, don't I? Actually. Do I? Don't I have a couple of things that buff my repair? So if I do that and I go to the Raider Pain Spike. Ooh, no, not quite, is it? Not quite high enough. If I put on the pain spike reinforced, you're now dressed as a raider. All right. thing I walked away from that. <laughs> Heavy combat armor though. Anyway, I think this is good enough for the stream to give you guys a kind of idea of what I'm doing with quote-unquote Fallout 3. There's some other stuff. If you look at the skyline, you might notice. I'm trying to see if the little kid's going to run towards me, but I don't think he is. jumpsuit. That gives me some repair. Dirty, pre-war. Try to see if I actually have a nice suit. But I don't think there's actually a clean one. So, only thing left to do is to make my way over to where is Megaton? I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction. No, I'm going to the right direction. Megaton's this way. Which is the button? Is it X for auto move? Anyway, folks, I think you get the idea. Let me know what you think. Do a full save. Always good to do a full save when you're popping out of something. <laughs> 